All right, after a couple of attempts, we finally got it going. Uh, what you can do is you can download the files from the Panasonic website. There's three files. You gotta copy it to an SD card. Uh, what happened was there was dust in my SD card slot. I think I was recognizing the card. This is for the ones that have the SD slot on the side with your pictures. What you do is, like I said, you copy it, and then you just stick it in your TV and it's supposed to automatically recognize it. And this screen right here will come up about a minute later, so don't get scared or nervous if it doesn't. So then you go to OK. And now it is going into um, an upgrade progress. What firmware is, is the software that runs on your device. And it makes uh, added features for your TV. For instance, on ours, it had an HD uh, signal problem and the TV would freeze. Or, when you turn up the volume, it would be really loud. So this is actually a good, uh, a good upgrade for our TV. Uh, some of them from Panasonic these years had closed captioning issues, which we weren't really care about, but this is basically what I'm going to uh, show you what, how you do it. So. Once this is done, it's going to either tell you to restart or turn it, or you can go back to your normal uh, TV, true TV, uh, watching pleasures. So, again, uh, it's on the, the Panasonic website. You can search your model on the back of your TV. It should be on the back. And you type it in, it's like uh, Google where your TV model will come up. But make sure you get the right TV because if you get the wrong files for the wrong TV, you will freeze your TV. And I don't think Panasonic's going to help you on that one. Uh, what it is is just a simple little bin file for the, from what is ever on there. It's time to grab it. So now that's almost done, and my cat is making lovely noises, we are uh, going to see what happens here. Ta-da! Please remove the TV plug. Don't know what the TV plug is, but we do know what a toy ball sounds like, so. What I'll do here is I'll turn off my TV. Oh, you can't turn it Maybe off. Maybe you should unplug it like it says. Yeah, alright. <laughs> so here we go. Remove the TV plug. Actually, I'm going to just trace the ball in back. That's not uncommon either for them to ask you to remove the TV plug. He's helping. check your firmware you gotta go figure out it might be a little slightly different on your Panasonic TV out there world but on here I think I have to go to one of the menu settings set up go to your about page and in version my version before I think was a 140 and this was uh, different as well so uh, so that is it. That's how you uh, upgrade the firmware on your Panasonic Gear TV with ball noises in the background. Uh, subscribe, rate, comment, inbox me if you have any questions. Uh, again, that'll work for any Panasonic affiliates. So if you get screwed, you're going to have to really type me a long message or text me on my Google.